I think for probably longer than any other activity, I've been involved in, in uh, amateur radio, or what's known as ham radio. Uh, people think it's not as viable a hobby as it used to be, but it is. In this day of the internet, it's probably even more so. And I thought, well, that's something that they don't have at Collington. I'm not sure it'll fit. Uh, maybe I may have to give that up. Uh, but I can replace it with others. I just didn't even think about doing ham radio here until another couple of residents said, gee, that would be interesting. Why don't we do that? I I'm not sure we could. They said, well, why don't we do that? And it was not difficult. The obstacles weren't there. Converting what is a storeroom, and we're converting it into a ham radio station and which will have a fair amount of activity, not only by residents, but it's also going to be a, an integral part of the emergency communication systems for the whole county and all the hospitals. I just talked to a resident the other day who is up uh, in, in the nursing facility for a period of time, lost his sight, and he can't see very well. He was saying how lonely he is. And he said, I see that you've been doing the ham radio stuff. And I said, yeah. He said, well, I'm up here. He said, I've lost my sight. And he said, you know, the worst thing is I just don't have anybody to talk to. I should have never gotten rid of my ham radio license. And I said, when did it expire? He said, 1937. I said, let's get you one again, and you'll have all the people you want to talk to. Uh, so he's going to be up here. So it's, it's, it's growing. It's great.